It's not even close. It's like when you're trying to cook me food. Bloody hell. It's disgusting. Yeah. You get the skinny bitch out the fridge. All the skinny bitches. You want to see something really cool? No. kind of mixed feelings about I'm kind of excited but I'm also really nervous and I've also seen videos like this and this is just gonna be an absolute shit show so judging by the title of today's video I'm sure you guys can kind of like I don't know guesstimate what the topic is but ever since I did the most highest rated yelped restaurant in Los Angeles which was Bottega Louie a $30 like giant truffle pizza I didn't love it and so imagine today's video where we are going to be doing the worst reviewed the worst rated restaurants in LA which by the way I feel like these are a revolving door because I was thinking like there's a lot of Los Angeles youtubers like LA youtubers who are constantly doing the worst rated and I'm like how like you just go to the same place over and over again like that's your Tuesday spot right but apparently Yelp changes it up like every monthly they're like here's your list of this month's shit list like it's so weird today I looked it up and it was like May 2019 like worst reviewed restaurants in Los Angeles so we're gonna try two of them I am so not actually ranks it for you yeah so I was gonna go to them. Like my original plan watching other people's videos, it's like they go to the restaurant, they have the full dining experience, they sit down, they show you guys the bathroom, and some of them like even take an iPhone and they like zoom into the kitchen to show you guys unsanitary practices that are being done, which like grossed me out so much. But I am a firm believer in like, if you put that on the internet, people are gonna find out the restaurant name, people are gonna find out who it is. So I just felt really uncomfortable. I just didn't wanna go. Also, I feel like if you're the worst rated restaurant in LA on Yelp, like this little Biss comes in and she's got a vlogging camera and she's like, I'm just gonna casually like order everything on the menu. Bits, you know what's good. So I didn't want to do that, so I postmated two of the worst rated restaurants. Who's worst? One of them is worse. I spent about $60 on the two worst rated restaurants. Do you guys believe in Yelp reviews? So typically we go for four stars, you know, like she's got high standards or whatever. That's like, you know the vibe is gonna be good. You know like the service is pretty good. You know the food is good. Three and a half stars, usually if it's like an authentic Korean place, I'll let it slide. I'm like, it was probably spicy, it's probably this, I don't know. Usually it's like four and above is like what you wanna aim for and these are all one, which is the lowest you can do. I do have a little sliver of hope though because I do notice that most Yelpers, they either rave about a restaurant or they just shit on it. Maybe the people who love the restaurant didn't write reviews. Hey, maybe after you review it, they turn into like a four star. <laughs> then everybody go try, oh man, this is great. Five star, five yeah, star, five so star. I'm hoping that it was just the scenario. I heard like restaurant owners hate Yelp. Yeah. And then like when people threaten you, that's the worst. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna actually share with you guys some reviews real quick. So the first place that I'm gonna review, I'm not gonna give you guys the name just in case. Imagine your worst enemy was forced to cook you food. That is the taste of this entire restaurant. Yay. <laughs> it's like when you're trying to cook me food. And then they specifically called out this $5 mac and cheese. So I ordered this mac and cheese from the restaurant. It was $5. I mean, this restaurant is pricey. It is not a cheap fast food restaurant. I ordered it. This is what it looks like. It came That's in a container $5? like this. Like you can see that like the cream, the cheese, I don't know what it is. Oh it's my God. Separating, I hope that's black pepper and not just dust. They said specifically, multiple people had said this mac and cheese. First of all, the portion is ridiculous, but it tastes like dish soap and like dirty sink water, which is very specific for a mac and cheese. It oh smells just like Velveeta. Is this like a Gordon Ramsay moment? Wow, I feel like I am on my kitchen nightmares. So it just like, do you guys see that it's like so clean once you peel it off? Um, okay, I'm just gonna try it. Oh my god, why does it smell like dish soap? I'm nervous okay, that like enough. things are gonna be like Oh what? my god, you need to taste this. Is it that bad? No, but it does taste like dish soap. That's the part oh, I gave you too big of a piece. Don't do that to your stomach. It I swear to you. Okay, tell me it's in my head. Do you have a hint of dish soap in there? It's not big. Like I don't eat it and I don't feel like I'm just downing method hand soap or something. Yeah. But do you taste the dish soap? It tastes like a little bit chemical. -y. Yeah, it does, but like a fresh chemical. What do you think? Is this because they use like instant powder or something? Does it taste instant to you? No, I mean I've had Velveeta. Like, I've had boxed Velveeta mac and cheese. 
This one is really weird. Why it's is feeling this worse under me. I don't know. This was also like another four dollars. So it's oh pretty much God. they call it extra crispy fries as their description, and they cut put it in a cup, put some tin foil over it, and um, there you have it. You have some limp. Extra crispy. It's not even cooked. Can I see? Oh my no. God. Oh my God. I was like, everyone's so dramatic. These little dramatic hoes, like they don't even. If you guys watch my main channel, you know the type of shit I eat on a daily basis. It's weird because I like limp. Fries. I was gonna say something else, I'm sorry. But this is limp, but the inside is not cooked through, so it's hard. There's no seasoning, there's no salt, there's no flavor. This was $5. Yeah. What's worse, the mac and cheese or the fries? I would say this is less worse. This you're gonna be shocked at. So th the main reason people hate this restaurant is because they they have wraps. That's their like specialty. They have a lot of wraps. This is a 15, no, $14 wrap. Let's unwrap the wrap. <laughs> and a lot of people are saying that this restaurant, they're a little bit suspicious of it, that it's not an actual restaurant. Most people that have gone to this restaurant, they haven't gone. They've only gotten it delivered through like Grubhub and Postmates because it was advertised on their pages. And they're saying that the phone number to call is a regular cell phone it's not a landline where an employee picks up uh -huh. and so they were like this is really weird is this not a restaurant is this a restaurant is this mean? someone in their house just like cooking shit and like selling it on post hey that looks kind of good they don't even cut the wrap so this is just a giant long oh my god so it's got lettuce <laughs> is there nothing in there lettuce two giant pieces of tomato lettuce and like really tomato soggy Chicken and strip or something? Here is some chicken. Okay, so do Okay. <laughs> do whatever that they did. I mean I feel like someone five could make this if they were home alone. Oh my <laughs> So what do people say about this? Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> the tomato smells weird. It's disgusting or is it just not good? No, it's pretty disgusting. It's all dough. The lettuce and the tomato don't taste fresh at all. Tenders are soggy. There's no seasoning. There's really nothing going on in this wrap. It is 100% just wrap boo. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this was a solid no. This and the mac and cheese were so bad. Bloody hell, that is not okay. It's disgusting, it's repulsive. Can I talk to the owner? Would you look at this? It's just mush. It's just piles of <laughs> mush. I've never seen a filet mignon like this. <laughs> Repulse. So the next place that I got is actually the worst rated restaurant. That wasn't even the worst. I was giving y'all a little bit of foreplay. This one is the worst. So this is a place. Ooh, I'm not going to tell you guys the place name, obviously. We ordered a pizza. Oh my god. Guess how much this pizza was. It smells like ass. This was a $12 pizza. Oh, it's a lot, no? That's too cheap. Yeah. You'll get the skinny bitch out the fridge. I recently yeah. ordered a pizza. This is where all the skinny bitches eat. Literally called skinny bitch pizza. This pizza, which I already ate half of, <laughs> was $30, guys. That's a fourth of the pizza, and it was $30. Look at the way this looks. How was the taste of that, though? Honestly, so bad. It's so bad? Smell That's it. crazy. Dude, smell it. Ooh, what the heck? I'm telling you, it smells Why is fishy. It fishy. I don't want that. I'm just gonna go for this small. Oh, go oh god. <laughs> really gross. Okay, I don't want to play with my food, but I don't know how to describe this. Everyone's biggest complaint is so, pizza places, they deliver, right? This place delivers. I actually ordered it through Postmates, and <laughs> they said that their biggest complaint is these pizzas take about three hours to come, right? Oh my god, I can't. I can't. <laughs> is it gross? It's fishy. It's like seafood. Seafood that's from the trash can. They say two hours, and a lot of people are saying, like, the same review is that they're saying that, like, when they call back and to be like, hey, I ordered online for delivery, it said that it was confirmed, why didn't the delivery dude come, it's been over an hour, and they'll say things like, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. What? When it's clearly the pizza place's number. Can you give me a sparkling water as a chaser? And then another person was saying, listen to this, right? First they were coming. And then they were late. And then, we never got your order. You never <laughs> ordered anything. And so most people are saying, on average, it takes about three hours. It says it's like ordering from the devil. It does. I dare you to finish that whole slice. 
I mean, no, I can't. <laughs> you think they're cooking fish right next to it? They would sell fish. Okay, let's try their chicken wings, okay? So we did get an order of chicken wings. <laughs> Why does it look like that? <laughs> this one doesn't smell as fishy. What do, what do you mean? How can you mess up chicken wings? You know when you have something wet and you try to coat like wet food? Mm -hmm. Like, let's say you have wet strawberries and you're trying to coat these wet strawberries with chocolate. The chocolate's not gonna stick. Chocolate is Yo, gonna feel like it. What the hell? You know and what the this texture is? is so weird. You know how chicken wings, you tear a piece of meat, you can tell the structure of the yeah. muscle? This way, the meat tastes like mush. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, I feel like it's really old. I don't know what's going on. Like I was reading some articles mm -hmm. and like they're thinking maybe it's like money laundering. What? Like you know how there's like laundries oh. or like, you know? Oh they're like, God. maybe it's a front and they just don't give a shit about their food. That is very true. How else could a restaurant stay in business with shitty reviews, shitty food, like it just doesn't make sense. This pizza's fishy. I was thinking maybe they're like cooking fish and then just instantly start making pizza using the same tools or same board. It smells like a- It's like crab shell that you throw into yeah. the trash can and then you open that yes! trash can. Yes! This is like after we film a seafood boil and we just have all these like crab shells with no meat. Yes. We throw them into the trash bag and if we don't immediately dispose of them, the next morning I go to open the trash can and just- of this old seafood boil. That's what this $10 pizza smells like. This is like, um, this is like a fire festival food, you know? I feel like this is like jail food tastes like. Oh, like, like no they don't really care what it tastes like, just eat it. This is like a sanitary hazard, the pizza. Yeah, the pizza, I just don't know what happened there. Yeah, this is like, here's no flavor, we don't give a shit. I mean, this one is like, if I were at fire festival and they served me this and I had nowhere to go because I'm stuck on this island, I'd probably eat the fries, I'd probably eat all the fries. This pizza is like, if I order a seafood dish and it smells like this, I still probably wouldn't eat it. <laughs> like, There's also not a lot of sauce. Like when you flip the 95% bread. Yeah, and like the cheese is barely existent. I wanted to get jalapenos on here and they were gonna charge me, I think, five dollars to add jalapenos as the topping. A lot of the reviews were saying that a lot of like teachers were buying this for their classroom parties Shut for their kids. No, and then what happened? It came three hours late. Was it a punishment to the kid? <laughs> you guys all failed second grade, so eat your pizza. Oh my god, let me wash my greasy hands. <laughs> Uh, I think I still taste it in my mouth. This is so gross. I brushed my teeth. I ate so much ice cream. I'm trying to get this fishy taste out of my mouth and it just won't disappear. And I'm getting a little bit stressed. She's getting a little bit pressed like OJ, but I think we're about to head out right now. So don't be alarmed if this turns into this. And then it turned into the end of the vlog. Sorry guys, I was trying so hard all day to get this fishy pizza set out of my mouth, but I have a super exciting vlog for you guys tomorrow. So stay tuned, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ah, uh, you can't see me.